Hello there, it's Jonathan here from Coho, and today I'm delighted to be introducing our new referencing functionality. We've integrated with Advanced Rent, who are the market leaders in this type of referencing for tenants. And so we're really pleased to be able to show you how this works within Coho and how seamless the experience will be for both you and your tenants. To start with, the best place to begin is the application form. Uh, by doing the application form now, there's a few additional questions that you can ask of the applicant that will be needed for when you do the referencing steps. So to do that, you'll need to log into your Coho account and click the onboarding button here. And what I've done is I've already started uh, the um, onboarding of a new applicant. To do so yourself, you just need to click the blue onboard new applicant button. I've already done that and I've entered some basic details here. I've given the rent, I've given that a guarantor will be required, uh, bills will be included, I'm not gonna ask for a holding fee in this instance. And yes, I am going to require an application form. Now for the first time I'm asking, what I would suggest is creating a brand new application form, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're gonna click new application form, and I'm just giving it the name of referencing. Uh, you'd give it something a bit more specific, but for this video example, I've just given it the name of referencing. Now there's a number of uh, different options, a number of different things you can include within this application form. And what you need to draw your attention to are these last couple of questions, the employment details. So the annual income um, and the employment status that now need to be included. So if we click those two, and then we just need to say, yes, we plan on carrying out referencing um, and then hit submit. What that will now do um, is that will now invite a tenant uh, to begin the application process and the onboarding process. And so once they've had that email and that text, they can look at this information, they can provide uh, what is required, and that will allow us as a manager to move through to the next step of triggering their referencing. Upon submitting the application form to the applicant, uh, what will happen is they will receive a form that they have to fill in based on those requirements that you set in that application form. So I've already pre-populated these here, but this is a basic overview of the sort of information that you have requested. They need to get their employment status, their annual income, uh, they need to provide details of their current employer, as well as their employment contracts. Um, and then because we have said that we need a guarantor for this application, we've also asked them to provide the guarantor's details. That's all been entered. Um, and important at the end, there are two options that they have to tick. They have to tick that they are happy for advanced rents to conduct uh, the uh, reference check on them, and also that the information provided is true and accurate. So once they've done that, they just need to click Save. And that will then alert you as a manager that that application form has been complete and they're now ready to start the referencing process within Coho. Once the tenant or the applicant has completed that application form, you as a manager will then get an action notification within your account, letting you know to review the application ahead of starting the referencing. So to do that, you'll just need to click this review application button, look through the details here, and we are gonna say that we are happy um, and we're gonna approve and proceed with the referencing checks. We'll now be given two options. We can either do the advanced rent referencing, which is the integrated fully functional referencing, or you can indicate that you are going to be pulling in a reference that you've done externally uh, to progress this applicant. So the two options are presented um, as we see here. So the first uh, is advanced rent. You can see further information on it here, as well as view a sample report, or you can choose to do your own referencing. You've got two, uh, two um, options here. Uh, the first is the applicant referencing started uh, or the guarantor referencing started. So effectively what those are saying is that you have started the process elsewhere. You may be using another provider, you may be doing an in-house check. So however you choose to do it, if it's not through advanced rent, you just need to follow these steps that you're taking through in this section here. But for the example of this video, what I'll be showing you is how it works with advanced rent and how it works with the integrated referencing option that we have. So to do it, we just need to uh, start the um, application process um, by clicking more information. And we're given three options here. The first is to uh, reference the tenant only. Uh, the second is to reference the guarantor only. Or the third is a full check for both tenant and uh, guarantor. So we'll be selecting that. So that's £30 plus VAT uh, and they're both full checks. 
has pulled in the applicant details that we filled in the application form previously, uh, as well as the guarantor details um, that were entered as well. We need to say we agree uh, to these conditions. Uh, these are the conditions that we outline. If you want to read these, you can at this stage. And we're going to start the referencing. What will happen now is you'll get a warning just saying that by continuing with this third party reference, you're committing to paying for it. So that's all fine. Um, you've been given the cost breakdown. You know what you've selected. So all you need to do now is click yes. What will happen is all that information will now be fired off to advanced rent. And upon the successful um, passing or on the flip side, uh, the failing of that application, you'll get an action notification within your onboarding area, letting you know that you can proceed or decline the applicant moving forward. So we're now at the final stage of the referencing process. Advanced Rent have done their referencing and they've passed back that the applicant has passed, as has the guarantor. So what you now need to do as a manager is decide on how to proceed with the application. Just because they passed referencing doesn't necessarily mean that you have to continue with their application. You may decide that based on certain bits of information from the reference that you're not entirely happy to proceed with them. Or on the flip side, you're totally happy and you just want to kick them through to the next stage of onboarding. So to do that, you'll need to go to the onboarding area of your account. In this particular um, scenario, we have the um, uh, applicant here and we have the status that manager is to decide the outcome. If we now view that and go down, you'll see a couple of things here. You'll see that the applicant has passed the uh, referencing check to view that past certificate. You can either view it or download it here. And then there's the guarantor. Uh, the guarantor has equally passed it. And again, you can see the specific uh, guarantor report there. You now need to decide what to do for both of them. So if you use this drop down, you're given a few options. Uh, you're given the first option is to continue by accepting the reference. Uh, the second option is to uh, require the guarantor uh, to be referenced if you've not already done so, which you have. And the third option is to do nothing for now whilst you decide. So for that, we're just gonna say we're gonna continue. You can add any internal notes. If there are any things that came up that you want to add, now's your opportunity to do so. So we just need to click confirm and we press continue. We now need to go down and do the same for the guarantor. Uh, so the guarantor, again, um, we're going to say that we are happy to continue, uh, continue by accepting the reference, and we're going to click confirm there. And that is referencing done. Both the applicant and the guarantor have now been fully referenced, and you will be able to begin the next process in the onboarding step to get them moved into that room. I hope this all made sense. As always, if you have any questions surrounding the referencing through Advanced Rent or doing it yourself, do just reach out to myself or the team here at Coho. But for now, have a great day.